The conference finals, game one, is about to begin. I'll let you guys listen to the crowd, how intense this is. Let's go. For the playoffs on 2K Sports, it's game one. We're ready to tip it off in just moments. Alongside Grant Hill and Brent Berry, I'm Brian Anderson. Also with us tonight, our reporter, Ali LaForce. You look at New York. It'll be the Knicks off the tip. And here's Paul. Over to the left wing. All sorts of time. And that's I hope you guys are ready. This is going to be a very intense game. 15 minutes of action against the Brooklyn Nets. So he swept the Toronto Raptors 2-0 to advance here. So this is going to be a great matchup. If you guys haven't known, the Brooklyn Nets always gives us a good game. He is the owner of the league. I have a few videos against him. The Klay Thompson against LeBron James video. He also has a video against me where he hit a game winner to Victor Oladipo. A fadeaway buzzer beater. It's all on my channel. So you already know it's going to be a great matchup. And this game... It's going to be a lot of back and forth, a lot of mistakes, a lot of defensive highlights, a lot of good plays, and a lot of classic 2K. Like for example right here, the defense gets sucked in. I clearly put on the settings to not sag and help. I made them play tight, but somehow the computers still help out and leave shooters open no matter what I try to do on the settings. This right here is my fault though, Klay Thompson has a nice sidestep, he hits a 3 point shot. It's really crazy to watch these gameplays after it's done because you could really analyze your mistakes and what you could have done better because when you play live, it's harder to think on the fly, especially in the heat of the moment. But right now, when I'm watching it with you guys, it's much easier to say what I should have done or what I shouldn't have done. Just keep that in mind. Imagine you're playing in this game, intense matchup against a great opponent. It's tough to think like how you're thinking post game. Yeah, <laughs> that's just something I wanted to mention. So this second quarter is pretty tough. For, to be honest, for our squad, we're going to be missing a lot of shots. Uh, my opponent as well had a lot, of, couple of turnovers. But that's what playoff basketball is about. It's grit and grind. It's tough to score. The defense steps up. You miss shots. Like this one right here. Chris Paul usually makes that during the regular season. That was an open midi. D'Angelo Russell is going to go coast to coast. He's going to kick it to the corner. Who's going to kick it back inside to DeAndre Jordan? Who gets a nice dunk? So again, this is another shot for Buddy Heal, the makeable shot. I end up missing this again, and he gets the rebound. This play right here really annoyed me. This was a simple, you know, pass from the air, but Chris Paul couldn't catch that properly. I got that weird 2K animation. Iggy got the steal. And this one as well, right? <laughs> this was crazy. Oh, look at these. All 10 players are in the paint. Usually my team spreads out a 3-point line whenever we get a steal, but on that possession everyone went in the paint right after the steal, nobody spread out, so we didn't even get a chance to score there, that was terrible. So my team, I don't know what's wrong with their IQ in this game, but defensively and offensively it wasn't there. Finally we, <laughs> finally we green a shot in the corner right there. On this play Iggy gets a block, that was crazy, he went through Mitchell Robinson who is a big body in this game, still a 7 foot center with brick wall and Iggy just went through him like he wasn't even there and got the block. So CP3 drives on D'Lo and gets a layup in the paint. Also I want to apologize in advance if you hear some noise in the background, my window is currently open because it's super hot because uh, of the heater and there's some snow trucks in the background. Um, removing the snow because it just snowed a lot today, so <laughs> they obviously have to clean up the streets, so sorry about that. Mark Gasol in the paint, Jonathan Isaac gets vortexed away, and <laughs> it's like he's not even there. So PG with a nice screen, gets fouled. So now our opponent has a 5 point lead, I'm trying to ISO with PG on Clay Thompson, this is definitely a great matchup. Tough, tough layup in the paint. This specific play as well wasn't really too good. I wanted to pass to Crowder who was standing at the 3 point line but when I was about to pass it he decides to cut in the paint. I really hate when that happens. If he stayed at the 3 point line it would have been a wide open 3. So <laughs> I don't know how you could stop that. Like I didn't even... Because you know when you pass you could, icon, you could um, lead them to the paint but I didn't even do that. 
I just, I didn't even press that. I didn't even lead out with the paint. But anyways, Isaac with the block and PG with the three. <laughs> Finally. Finally a little bit of momentum going into the half. But Paul George somehow gets his dunk block right here. I don't know how that happens. Paul George never gets his, his dunk blocked. And then he misses an open three in the corner. So yeah, man, 2K, everything that you hate about 2K is present in this game. The player's cutting in the paint, getting blocked in the paint, your dunks. I don't know what, what's going on in this game. And your teammates being dumb. Brogdon, he plays a nice bait right there. Jonathan Isaac with the rebound. He gets blocked like a little noob. <laughs> Yo, they're going up so soft in the paint. But anyways, this <laughs> third quarter, we miss more shots from the mid-range area wide open. Chris Paul knocks that down in his sleep. And he's going to knock down a three with Iggy. Oh my goodness, that was a big turn of events right there. Jordan Clarkson pushes me like he has Hall of Fame defensive stopper. I don't know how he pushed me like that. Chris Paul with the three. But that was annoying. A lot of his defenders kept pushing me like they have Hall of Fame defensive stopper. I, <laughs> or I think there's a button you could press to push people, but I just don't know what it is. But anyways, Jordan Clarkson with the fadeaway attempt. Chris Paul is there. Lobs it to DeAndre Jordan. He misses a oop. So he read this play beautifully. D'Angelo Russell gets the steal. And they get a nice oop. So that's one thing about posting my gameplay online. Is that a lot of the league members, they know how I play because they watch my videos. So they know my uh, tendency. So they know how to beat me. <laughs> so that's one downfall about posting my gameplay online. It's like my league members or the people in the league, they watch the videos. So they know what I'm doing. So they can anticipate what I'm going to pass, what I'm going to do because they watch the videos. But it's all good. Devin Booker gets a nice drive in the paint on PG. So my opponent is leading by four points. That should have been a steal. He's going to kick it to the corner. And he's going to green a three. And he's going to take a seven point lead. So this right here is a nice play. He gets stuck on the screen. PG gets a three point shot to go. So that was nice. We can't let this go into a double digit game. We can't. Paul George gets into the paint. And one. Let's go. On this next play, he's going to run a screen and fade with Gasol. It's really hard to guard this because the computer is so dumb. They don't know how to guard this. And also, if you try to control two players at once, it's really hard because of the lateral movement on next gen. It's so, so slow to the point where the offensive player has a big advantage when they do this. <laughs> because it's hard to control two players at once. Because when you try to move their feet, it doesn't move right away. So it's very hard to guard, pick and fade, pick and roll like that. So Devin Booker gets a green right here. I'm going to give it to Isaac wide open in the paint. And he does a soft layup and he misses. This man is 6'11". He's athletic. He has the badges and he still does a weak layup. Man, I don't know what to say, man. 2K in this game. I break another three-point shot to end the third. Buddy Heald usually makes that in his sleep as well. Jay Crowder gets in the paint and we get the dunk. He's going to run the same play with Jordan Clarkson this time and watch... The defense, I think it was my fault or the computer's fault. But anyways, that was it's hard to guard that. Pick and fade. Four out, one four in or one four out. It's very hard to guard that. Buddy Hill ends up greening a shot, thankfully. Because I've been breaking a lot. So he's going to run it again. Pick and fade. Four out, I mean uh, one four in. Or the four one. Ugh, I keep forgetting how to say <laughs> Four out, one in. There you go. That's what I wanted to say. Very hard to guard this type of offense. Finally get a defensive stop. We're going to end up pulling for three. And we take the lead right back. Big shot by Malcolm Brogdon. Again, four out, one in right here. He's going to run it again. DeAndre Jordan with the screen with for D'Lo. I end up jumping here. D'Lo misses. But obviously, DeAndre gets the offensive rebound. Because if you contest it, there's nobody to stop DeAndre Jordan from getting the board. CP3, that's a wide open three that he misses. Mo Bamba doesn't get the offensive rebound, unfortunately. So we're missing a lot of big opportunities in this fourth. He ends up missing as well in the corner. DeAndre Jordan gets the offensive rebound. Look at this. He's manhandling Mo Bamba like he's not even there. He's just going around him. And then he's going to end up scoring this possession because he had three offensive rebounds in a row with DeAndre Jordan. So obviously he's going to score eventually. Paul George gets tripped right here again. Actually, the first time it was a block. This time it was a strip. So Paul George, he... Missed a dunk opportunity two or three times in this game. Booker misses a corner three. So this time, I'm not going to get stripped on this dunk attempt, thankfully. 
because that's a clutch bucket. Watch this possession right here. My computer is so dumb. They left Drew Holiday wide open. I specifically set on my settings to not leave him open. I put, I think, tight on Drew Holiday and the computer still left him wide open. So Paul George gets in the paint and we tie the basketball game. So it's getting crucial, crucial crunch time. Three minutes left in this game. Klay Thompson or Devin Booker. I can't even see. My screen is so small. That was Klay Thompson. Paul George is curling off two screens. He goes for the steal. Wide open three. I miss. Mitchell Robinson with the offensive rebound put back. That was huge. Tie basketball game. Devin Booker drives into the paint. He just walks into the paint. No resistance at all by our team. Buddy Heald is not a defender, so he can't even bump him. This was an accident. I don't usually take these shots unless it's the end of the shot clock. Paul George wide open triple. Somehow we get the tip. I think it was his own player that tipped it in, but anyways, I'll take it. He's going to run the pick and roll with Drew and Booker. We stop it nicely. I'm going to control my player this time. I don't trust the computer. So what I'm going to end up doing is I try to reach. I thought I was going to get a foul there. He wasn't protecting the ball, so I thought that was an easy steal. We're going to bring the double on Devin Booker. I don't want that man taking the shot in the clutch. You already know <laughs> what he can do. So Marc Gasol is the guy we want taking the shot. So that was a good defensive possession. He ends up getting an offensive three-second violation. And he pushes me again. You see that? Yo, that's so annoying. <laughs> Paul George, isolation. I'm going to take the screen, go to the paint. And thank goodness we didn't get blocked. I thought he was going to get blocked the way this game was going for him. So it's a two-point basketball game. Drew Holiday is going to try to run that screen again. Pick and roll, pick and fade. And we get the blocking foul. Two clutch free throws for Drew. He misses the first free throw. He misses the second as well. Wow, that's crazy. I thought he was going to miss only one or at least make one. But he missed both. So can we clutch it out in the last 20 seconds? My opponent is not going to go for the foul. He's going for the double and the steal. I give it to Chris Paul, the floor general. He gets doubled, but I, I think I get stuck with the animation here because Drew Holiday has gold trapper and Marc Gasol just grabs the ball right here. <laughs> so we're going to end up going into a jump ball. Marc Gasol against Chris Paul. This is definitely not a good matchup. Marc Gasol definitely has the height advantage, so I don't think I'm going to win this. And he gets the tip. And he calls a timeout. So I made sure Devin Booker and Clay Thompson, we denied them the ball. And I put Jonathan Isaac on Booker and Paul George on Clay Thompson. And I put deny. I want someone else to take the shot in this clutch situation. Last five seconds of the ball game. Let's go. He's going to give it to Devin Booker as expected. Jonathan Isaac is right there. He has a nice ball movement, but he gets stuck in an animation. Drew makes the shot, but... <laughs> No more time, baby. Yeah, that was a crazy last possession. Jonathan Isaac really stepped up there on Booker. He had to pass it out. Oh, man. That was a crazy game one. Oof. Man, just watching it over just gives me stress. Imagine playing it. But anyways, this reaction by Paul George summarizes the game perfectly. What a game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this basketball game. Crazy playoff conference finals game one. Definitely drop a comment and a like. These videos take a while to make and hopefully you guys keep enjoying it. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe. And also follow G Flash on Twitter.